There's an old legend that during the space race in the 1960s, NASA discovered that traditional ballpoint pens would not work in zero gravity conditions, and therefore they could not write in space. So NASA contracted some engineers to develop a space pen, and after millions of dollars and years of development, the Americans created a pen that could write in any condition, even in space. The Russians, however, used a pencil. It's a story to highlight the failings of American bureaucracy as well as a parable on the importance of simplicity and thrift. However, as commonplace and amusing as the story might be, it's all baloney. See, during the space race, both Americans and Soviets used pencils in space. However, this was a bad idea, as bits of the pencil flaked off and floated around in the zero-gravity environment, which could harm astronauts as well as the equipment. To combat this, NASA used mechanical pencils, but that didn't help much either, as the tips could still break off and float around. NASA also spent over $100 each on these mechanical pencils, which in today's dollars would be well over $1,000 for one pencil, which is an absurd amount of money for a mechanical pencil and was met with public outcry and obviously some criticism. Around the mechanical pencil fiasco, Fisher Pen Company released a pen that instead of using gravity to push the ink to the end of the pen, it used compressed nitrogen. This pen worked phenomenally well in extreme conditions, and even worked underwater. You can actually buy an improved version of one of these pens today, for the low, low price of $70. It's expensive for a pen, but it's still a lot cheaper than NASA's mechanical pencils. Fisher invested around a million dollars into the development of the pen, and it paid off with both NASA and the Soviet space program buying a lot of them as well as refill cartridges to use in space. This big investment from Fisher as well as NASA's mechanical pencil fiasco were most likely conflated to create the myth we know today. Whatever the case is, both Americans and the Russians used space pens, and not just for writing in space either. On the Apollo 11 mission, astronauts used the handy dandy space pen as an impromptu tool, wielding it to fix a broken activation switch. This repair made by the space pen allowed the astronauts to return home, making the mission to the moon a success and saving the lives of the astronauts. So even though we didn't spend millions of dollars on a space pen, if we had, it might have been worth it. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do my next video on and I might actually do it. Then once you do that, you should check out the sponsor to this video, National Realty Group. National Realty Group is a real estate company with offices located in Southern California. They're a one-stop solution office meaning the real estate, mortgage, and escrow departments are located all in the same office. That means you can go through the whole process of buying or selling a house without the hassle of being bounced around to different companies. This makes the whole process a lot easier and a whole lot more enjoyable. Give them a call at 951-684-2600, or if you're like me and you don't like talking to people, visit their website, 